The buzz around town was a little louder for a Monday. Connecticut is the land of trees, you know. Another October storm leaving a mark. And for Glastonbury-based arborist Mike Presta, when these fall, business goes up. Limbs, trees, trees on houses, trees on power, trees over driveways. It's everything out there right now. Already in the midst of a busy season, for Presta and his crew working on this Glastonbury yard, this latest storm will keep them cutting. We'll probably grab another month's worth of work just from this uh, windstorm alone. In Glastonbury, power lines compromised. To Manchester, where Bush Hill Road was shut down. To, of all places, Branch Street in East Hartford, where this giant oak nearly brought down the house. And you talk about your rude awakenings. Well, this happened at about 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning. Eddie Wilcox was home alone. Very scared when it happened, very scared. Big boom, sounded like the house was coming down. There you go. The view from above shows the destruction. On the inside, well, now you can see the sky. Usually they don't go right through the roof like that. They're very lucky. If I had children in there, I would have been very scared. I'm thankful no one got hurt, and I think we're gonna have our work cut out for us on that one. Wilcox tells us the house was already under renovation, and looking at the aftermath, it's not the material things that matter. The most important thing is I'm okay. And with scenes like this all over the state, the advice? Leave it to the pros. Little things in your yard you can do, but everything up there becomes dangerous. Ten feet above your head and it's bad. Better to be safe than sorry. Leave it to the experts for sure. In East Hartford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News. A slice of heaven in Cheshire. We've been here for 31 years. Myself and my grandfather started it back in 1986. Pete DeBishop owns Pop's Pizza, a popular joint on West Main Street. DeBishop serves up traditional pizza, specialty pies, and the old-fashioned Sicilian style. Safe to say, he has marinara sauce running through his veins. Anybody who makes the sauce knows how to do it this way. Anybody who makes the dough knows how to do it this way. We have consistent pizza makers. Everybody does it the same way. And you can taste it in the dough. It's made fresh daily, and that keeps people like Erica Pincus coming back. I actually had a brownie troop uh, meeting here once, and we got to make pizza and talk to Pete, and it was really cool, and I loved this place ever since I was little. Now, Erica's daughters Molly and Sydney love the place too, even celebrating a birthday at Pops. We made pizza, and Pete said the secret ingredient was we had to rub flour on our nose to make it perfect. And the secret to success here at Pops is consistent food and a down-home friendly atmosphere. As soon as you walk through the doors, you feel part of the family. I've been here for a long time and uh, Pete's a great guy. This place has been uh, a staple in the community and uh, he's a role model for the community, a role model for just me, my family, my kids, everybody. It's a very family-oriented, homegrown pizza place. Pops just sort of uh, epitomizes what Cheshire is all about. On the Foodie Friday train in Cheshire, Sean Pergano, Fox 61 News. A day filled with raw emotion outside Deco Nail Salon in Simsbury. The owners, known affectionately as Tony and Chris, are set to be deported on February 16th. So the community is pushing back. This family was escaping persecution to come here. They've come here, they've set up a business, um, and they're important community members, and our community members are saying, we're with you. The couple has been living and working in the U.S. for 20 years. A representative for the family says they've been granted work permits, pay taxes, own a home and business, and are raising two children ages 5 and 15. They don't deserve this. We need to be keeping families together. The couple has reportedly complied with all ICE requirements, but at their last check-in was fitted with GPS trackers and told to buy one-way tickets out of the country. This is really a, an awful move by ICE. Uh, there's a young family. There are children in the schools in Farmington. They own a business in Simsbury. Dozens came out to support the family and send a message to ICE. It makes good sense to go after um, illegals that are not law-abiding. They're, they're breaking criminal laws, committing felonies, and hurting people. But in this situation, law-abiding people paying taxes and helping our citizens just doesn't make sense. If you want to get rid of immigrants who you claim to be dangerous, go find violent criminals. 
We should be bringing people together, not pulling them apart.